जय भीम टू ऑल टुडे इज वन थर्टी फर्स्ट एनिवर्सरी बर्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ डॉक्टर बाबा साहब अम्बेडकर टू स्पीक अबाउट हिम इज नॉट द इजी थिंग विद इन द शॉर्ट टाइम बट इफ वन वॉन्ट्स टू स्पीक विद इन फाइव मिनट्स वन कैन पुट फॉरवर्ड इन टूडेज पीरियड three major points which he wanted to get into the practice as his dream the first point and most important point which his dream had was to annihilate caste because unless and until caste is annihilated as he said to the marxist and left leaning people that this monster is going to come in your way and it will not allow you to fulfill your dream of socialism so annihilation of caste but not only is softening of the caste end of the caste system as a system was his one of the very important goals which he put forward in front of all of us and annihilation means not only of the caste system but annihilation of division of laborers also annihilation of hierarchical exploitation also so these are the things which are related to not only caste but division of laborers is related to annihilation of the class also it is related to a gender abolition because gender is a thing which gives rise to confirmation or a uh, binding on society a reproduction of the caste system again and again by controlling women's sexuality second point he wanted to fulfill was abolition of brahmanism and capitalism i think baba saheb has read marx thoroughly unless until he read marx thoroughly it was impossible for him to compare buddha and marx's thoughts and precisely putting forward the most important and most revolutionary revolutionary propositions of karl marx baba saheb says that we have to agree to these points because these points are common with buddhism and that is related to abolition of capitalism and ab- abolition of brahmanism is not only related to abolition of caste system but it is related to abolition of modern brahmanism also a brahmanism which doesn't end with the caste system but it remains inside the hierarchical relations within the class system so even though people are becoming part of the various classes and their caste in the old way is not functioning as a caste they have stopped functioning or doing the jobs which they were compulsorily supposed to do as caste are are to be are to be are not to be abolished again because they are not there people are not following those jobs but still caste system is there and still brahmanism is there because brahmanism makes the caste system sustain so this this is this is the very important goal for dr baba saheb ambedkar because unless until you abolish capitalism brahmanism is not not abolished 
And unless until you abolish Brahmanism, capitalism couldn't be abolished completely. So this interwovenness of caste, class and gender was very important point in Bhav Sambhika's thought and thoughts and goal. Third point, a very important point, was his proposal for Constitution of the United States of India, which is a part of his collected works now. He was doing, making that proposal for actual constitution of India. This proposal was not accepted. And uh, some other constitution uh, was passed. Uh, the process of this building of this today's constitution, Bhavasa Ambedkar had to leave away his other proposals and that's why he was not very much satisfied when he presented the present constitution to the Constituent Assembly. So what was the dream of his own proposal for constitution? It was uh, complete public control over the natural resources, land, water, sunlight, wind, spectrum, etc., etc. At the same time, no private ownership in the land and the land should be distributed for cultivation to the various people who had no, has no other, other basis for living. And thirdly, it was that industries, basic industries, he said, should be controlled by the, by, by the nation. It should be a public property. So in a sense, in the today's period, when even the wind and the solar, uh, solar system and uh, uh, the, the spectrums are, have, have become commodities, they have become part of the capital generation, Bhava Sambedkar's proposal for this, this, these resources being, uh, being not part of the private property uh, are unfulfilled. So we should not be satisfied with just uh, democracy uh, in, a, in a field, as Bhava have said, that one individual, one vote, but this equality is now never will never get realized, even if there is no social and economic equality. So this was the view and very strong view of Dr. Vaas Ambedkar in relation to the real equality, real democracy, and freedom. And that is the thing which should be our goal, unless until we fulfill this goal. We are not really going, taking ahead the thoughts of Dr. Vaas Ambedkar. Jai Bhim again.